1 p.m. and the Czech guy has made a really nice fight from the bottom right, South Alden, or the hill nearby, into the turn point, taking advantage of conditions starting a bit earlier in the high mountains. And the Chinese guy has gotten away. He is scratching really low here. Uh, he was around a thousand meters. And the German has not been able to get away from this place, but Kinga has. So she's crossed the in valley. And a little further ahead, Richie and Laurie have diverged. Uh, looks like it's gone well for Richie, and Laurie's just about to overtake the uh, Tom of the Romanian, who I'm not sure where he's going to find the launch. But the Spanish and uh, Slovenian are doing really well. Uh, they're just trucking along. I guess they launched a bit earlier. And down here, Elizabeth is doing pretty well as well. And it looks like you can scoot around the southern side, at least the Japanese guy did into Lemus. At 2 p.m., the Czech guy must be getting close to launching. Chinese guy is still scratching above the hill. The German, she decked it by the end, and King had also did it on the other side. And Richie's also decked it after some, yeah, it must be pretty tough weak conditions. Uh, Laurie's managed to hang in there in Romania. Uh, Tom has just relaunched, so they're flying together. And Richie should be able to launch from the same hill that they just were at. Meanwhile, Elizabeth's route down the past Innsbruck has been going great. And she's um, staying in front of the Slovenian and the uh, Spanish. So 3 p.m. on day three. And at the moment we've got Patrick Von Kernel in the lead. He's just landed. So hasn't quite managed to fly into the Rhone Valley, but he's done that in-between bit, and Kriegel is catching up now. He was flying with Pal from Hungary before, Derogati's just behind them, and in front there's two Frenchies. Tongi is caught up with Maxime. These guys back here have landed and hiked up a bit just after crossing the Oberalp Pass, but they're um, flying again. So that's uh, Toma and... Uh, Damien from France. Here we've got Simon flying on his own. It seems to end up like that a, a bit. And uh, who else have we got from Austria? Paul Guschebauer looks like he's landed along with Swiss for that Sepp in Decentis. So it was really clouded out here and the leaders seem to have a bit of trouble getting past it might have been showers as well and yeah some of them landed and waited and Maxime had a low save from close to there looks like Tom the Dolores landed in the valley and uh, France 4 that's Tim Malongi still in the game uh, Marcus Anders still all right and uh, Reto and Nico Danini as well as uh, Tobias so this is getting close to where Kriegel and co were early this morning oh that's where he got stuck Tusis so yeah actually here's Spike and the Canadian coming along just after tagging the turn point I'd say or it's a still a little way back there it is so that's where they started this morning. So Maximilian, uh, more or less, where they had the first thermic flight, Kriegel and, and co. We've got the American flying on his own, Logan. And uh, back at the Lermils turns point, Japanese has just started flying and Elizabeth will be hiking up the hill. And... Spanish guys just topping up for his final climb before gliding in. Slovenians being with him, but they split apart not long ago. But they're not too far apart. And uh, yeah, that's Elizabeth's line down there. And uh, here we have the Romanian. He managed to stay in the air while Laurie landed. So really tricky scratching conditions here. Totally different to in Switzerland where it's overdeveloping. So the Australian has just climbed up and he's probably about to relaunch and uh, back here a couple of the girls Kinga 
and uh, the German have landed in the end. I'm not sure King has gone south, so that's a indifference. Maybe she's trying to do something like um, the Austrian girl did yesterday, and the Czech guy is yeah catching them. He's flown from the turn point some time ago, and I'm not sure where the Chinese guy got to. There he is. He's going south, so he's just going to follow the end by the looks of it. An update. Kinga is slowly making her way to a launch. China has been there for quite some time, landed in a clearing. Uh, the German has got to a launch and she's uh, on her way. The Czech is cutting south. Looks like he wants to get into the intel. Uh, Richie has been flying well. He's made some good ground and he was just behind Laurie here who is elected to walk south rather than joining Richie's launch, which was to her east. And i um, not exactly sure what she's up to. Uh, then, oh, looks like uh, the Romanian Toma is still flying and heading towards the next turn point, I would say, he's in the air. And uh, the Slovenian and Spanish look to be flying again after taking the turn point. And the Austrian girl is also, yeah, skirting her way around Innsbruck airspace. And down this way, oh, Japan, have they landed? I'm not sure. Uh, so where's Logan? Is he... Oh, he's looks to have just tagged the um, Pisburn turn point. Uh, Maximilian's making good progress, the Canadian is there, and then the leading pack. So who's in front now? Looks like they've had some people landing in fish already. So it's half past seven. There might be time for another hike and glide from, yeah, the leading three is Kriegel, Tongi and Maxime. It's awesome to see Tongi up there. Yeah, Aaron and Pal are close behind and Paddy's pedal's just about to launch. And there's a whole bunch of people around. So, yeah, next they'll be going over this pass here in the middle of the screen to head up to the turn point on the other side of any Soberland. Yeah, lots of pilots in the region. I haven't even checked this out lately. But, oh, a few of them got stuck at the, uh, the head of the... Is it that? No. No, that's the uh, Oberalp Pass. So they're, they're trying to get out of the Rhine Valley. And, uh, yeah, I haven't even looked where everyone is, but some big flights today. It's a pretty fast X-Alps. Oh, interesting that Logan's gone quite a ways off course there. Hmm, I wonder what happened there. And maybe there's a bit of rain on the bigger mountains, don't know. And, uh, yeah, the guys there look to be on the ground. And... Yeah, Toma didn't make it all the way in. He's landed. Oh, the Germans had it, having a really nice late flight on the uh, route that I meant to take on my last X, last X Alps, but I bombed just north of where Richie is. He's decked it in the middle of no man's land. So not only is X Alps getting harder because of the competition getting better and better, but they're getting more and more rules. So there's a, he's, there's a huge area around him, the Carvendel, even though he's just crossed inside the Austrian border, so he doesn't have to worry about the German... Official takeoffs only. The Czech's doing well. He's got the in valley on his left hand. Yeah, so he can't, he's not allowed to relaunch, so it's kind of sucks. Laurie has decided to walk rather than refly, which I don't know, I found a little bit odd, but I guess it sort of only half worked out for Richie. And Kinga is still flying. Uh, she's going to need to push along a little bit because she is in the back, well, with uh, the Chinese guy who hasn't moved a lot at all since landing just here. So, yeah, he's probably a bit worn out. It sucks because someone's going to be eliminated tomorrow. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer, that rule, but it's the way it is, I guess. So this is SkySight's potential flight distance for today, and we can see that, yeah, it was good on the in on the intel side of things close to Innsbruck and 
Elizabeth had a great fight through there. But, yeah, it was a little weaker on the north. Uh, so I guess, yeah, the thermals were a bit... It was scratchy, we saw that. Through here, this is being impacted by the overdevelopment. But, in fact, when it's unstable, if you avoid getting rained on, you can still make good distance. So they did. And they did have to sort of land and avoid the rain a few times. And, yeah, here they are. So let's have a look at the forecast for tomorrow. It wouldn't have been much good for them today, I guess, flying that way. But tomorrow, look at that. So it's likely that we'll see them come into Neeson tomorrow morning and round Mont Blanc after lunch. But the Italian side looks pretty ordinary tomorrow, so I think there's a good chance we'll see people cross into Switzerland and try to tag the Dufuschbitzer from the northern side. I haven't actually checked how difficult that is, how high a mountain it is, but let's have a look at that soon. Here is the Monte Rosa turn point, a 5k radius. Access from the Swiss side is definitely pretty technical. It's, uh, yeah, there's a there's a hut which is almost three kilometers high that's just inside, but yeah, you'd run a tag that one flying. So unfortunately tomorrow someone will be eliminated. Last place at 6 a.m. Those in blue have a night pass. 40 minutes until last allowed flying, but they're racing down the valley. The uh, Fiesch turn point is in the right, and the pass they'll be going for is just where the Red Bull XLP symbol is. And uh, Kriegel has pulled his night pass.